Western Australia became just the second Australian state this month to introduce voluntary assisted dying for terminally ill patients. And this week, an Aboriginal grandmother became one of the first to die under the program. She spoke to SBS News about her decision the day before she died. And a warning, some of you may find the story confronting. And a note to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers, this report begins on images of a person who has died. Mary Ellen Passmore lived with motor neuron disease for six years. This week, with her children by her side, she ended her life. The Wongatha Yamaji woman died in a Perth hospital on Thursday, one of the first people to use Western Australia's new voluntary assisted dying laws. I feel very honoured to choose when and where I can die. The new laws allow patients suffering terminal illness to legally end their lives if they meet strict eligibility criteria and have been assessed by two medical practitioners. If she wasn't suffering, I, I, I'd be against this, but the amount of suffering she's gone through is unreal. She's been waiting for the law to change, and this is why, now that it has changed, she's on the list straight away. Motor neuron disease first left the mother of three and grandmother of 14 unable to walk and then unable to move unassisted. I did the pain that I been doing for too long. WA's laws were passed in 2019 after hours of at times heated debate in the parliament and 55 amendments to the original bill. The state government confirmed this week that at least one other person has ended their life since the laws were introduced on July 1st. WA is now the second Australian state to introduce VAD after Victoria. The parliaments of South Australia and Tasmania have each passed laws, while the Queensland government introduced a bill in May this year. Ms Passmore acknowledged that many wouldn't understand her decision, but she said a terminally ill person should have the right to choose. Her final hours were spent surrounded by her family. I feel at peace within myself. And the love of my children, and I love my children for allowing me to do this. Mary Ellen Passmore, ending that report by Aaron Fernandez. And if you found the story upsetting, you can reach out to Beyond Blue on 1300 22 46 36. Lifeline on 13 11 14 or contact your local community controlled health service.